Welcome to the Old Dogs REI Network, where cash flow is king. Real estate investing, the means, so you can enjoy your retirement dreams. This is the show where we cut right to the chase. No sales pitch, no long monologues, just simple how-to real estate investing advice, so you can earn the passive income you need to enjoy your retirement today. And now, your host and chief old dog, Bill Manasero. Dogs, and welcome to Fun Facts Friday. This is our once a week, only on Friday show, where we have special episodes not featuring guests, where I will share tricks, tips, terminology, and techniques that will help skyrocket you to real estate investing success. Today's topic is Has the U.S. housing market finally peaked? But before we get started, hey, I just uh, want to touch base with you guys. I know I got a bit of a cold here and uh, uh, might be a tough one getting through this uh, podcast today. But hey, I just uh, wanted to check in with you guys and see, just see what you're doing. I would really love to hear sort of the latest on what you're up to. Um, If you got some stories to share with me, it doesn't have to be a success story. It could be um, something that uh, a challenge uh, you faced or something of that nature. But I'd just love to hear from you guys. If uh, there's any uh, questions I can answer yours, I'd be happy to do that as well. But uh, yeah, I'd just love to hear from you on your side. So you can just write to me at uh, bill at OldDogsREINetwork.com, or you could even write to me at info at OldDogsREINetwork.com, and I'd be happy to to write back or or maybe just share your story on the air. Or hey, never know, it might even be able to get on a on a show and be a guest. Well, let's get on to our topic: Has the U.S. housing market finally peaked? Now, I know this is kind of a tough one because. Do we really know? And who really knows? Well, there's a whole bunch of experts that uh, are going to be quoted here that uh, have different ideas about what is exactly going on in the market now. I mean, this has been one of the hottest real estate markets in decades. You know, buyer demand has stayed strong and home prices have risen dramatically. And despite, you know, despite continued low inventory and rising rates, But there are signs, pretty strong ones right now, that the market may be starting to cool. Does that mean the market has peaked? Uh, And that we're now going to see things normalize in the second half of 2022? Well, let's find out what several industry experts are saying as they share their opinions on the current state of the housing market and where they expect home prices, inventory, mortgage rates, and demand to land across the rest of 2022. So what kind of a housing market are we currently in? Now, much of the U.S. has been in a strong seller's market over the past few years, and this has been going on for a while. Uh, The reason? Buyer demand has been high, with purchasers outnumbering sellers and a continued lack of housing supply to meet that demand. A seller's market is one in which sellers have the negotiating leverage because demand for housing is higher than the supply of available homes. According to Dennis Shirkshahoff, a strategist with Awning.com, a tech-enabled brokerage firm for real estate investors, low rates, a bull market, accessible for refinancing, and the coronavirus lockdown, and, and I would even add to that, if I might, if you don't mind, Dennis, um, the stimulus checks, where some people were getting like 10 grand um, up front on some of these uh, stimulus or unemployment um, stimuluses going on. Um, And that these prompted people to move, uh, purchase their first homes, buy vacation homes, and invest in properties. Put another way, a seller's market is one positioned in favor of existing homeowners instead of aspiring home buyers. 
Now, one expert, Rogers Healy, owner and CEO of the Rogers Healy Companies in Dallas, explains that we've been in a strong seller's market for some time now because of a shift in the mindset of millennials regarding home ownership. Millennials used to be the enemy of real estate, but now they are the largest consumer, comprising 43% of buyers in today's market. The decision millennials have collectively made to stray away from rental properties and own real estate has shifted the market completely, according to Rogers Healy. So what does it mean for the housing market to peak? When experts indicate the market has peaked, they mean that the highest growth rates are now behind us and the market is starting to cool off. Now, once annual home price growth starts trending downward, the market is said to have peaked. Since home prices display strong seasonal peaks and troughs, annual home price growth is used as a barometer for determining market hotness, according to Nick Shaw, CEO of uh, Home LLC in San Francisco. Rogers Healy agrees. He says, typically, this means the prices have begun to level off. When the market peaks, it reaches an ultimate high with prices and mortgage rates at an all-time high before descending. Will the housing market peak in 2022? Vincent Chan, CEO of real estate development and investment firm Christina, believes that the housing market never truly peaks. It only warms and cools and sometimes booms over time, alternating between a buyer's and a seller's market. But it always keeps going up. Chan continues... Think about a hiking trail going up a mountain from the side. Sometimes it gets steeper, sometimes it dips back down, but it's all, but you always keep climbing. And if you look at the market over a period of, you know, the last 50 years or even the last 100 years, you'll see just a whole series of hills going up and down, up and down, but always going higher and higher and higher. Now, to illustrate Chan's point, you know, just look at median home prices over the last 50 years. Despite various housing crashes and corrections, prices have continued to rise over time. In 1972, the median home price was 26200 In 82, 69600 92, 119500 2002, 188700 2012, 238,400 and 2022, 428,700. That's according to the St. Louis Federal Reserve. Some believe the current seller's market will continue to remain relatively strong. Individuals continue to purchase their first homes even at higher interest rates, and new homes are not being constructed nearly as quickly as is needed to meet the current demand. But others feel strongly that we are approaching the peak of the seller's market due to a greater number of price adjustments by home sellers recently, rising mortgage rates, and an increase in housing inventory. So overall, there are multiple signs indicating a transition toward a market favoring buyers, which signifies that the housing market has already peaked. And that's according to Jason Jelios, a top realtor in Southeast Michigan. Now, Nick Shaw predicts that the housing sector will peak by the end of this month before beginning to cool down. He goes on to say, we can already see the signs of an impending slowdown. Inventory is rapidly rising. More homes are taking price reductions before finding a buyer. And there's been a sharp fall in affordability. There has never been a bigger gap between what the median homeowner can afford to pay for a home and what the median home costs. And just looking at that number I gave you, uh, 428,700, and that's a a national average. It's really high. Now, consider the results of a recent home light survey in which real estate agents were polled about the state of the housing market. This is what agents have to say. 94% of agents believe it's still a seller's market. Again, they're very optimistic here. But then it goes on to say 44% say bidding wars are on the decline. 
Another 34% say price reductions are becoming more common, and 33% of agents indicate inventory is rising in their market. Of course, the situation buyers will face varies widely from one market to the next. Some areas could be cooling off more rapidly, while others may stay hot for years to come. And that's true anywhere. You know, there is a, a national market, but there are also regional markets. And the regional markets could be totally different than what's going on nationally. If you're wondering what to expect in your local housing market, connect with a, a realtor or a broker. Um, you know, ask them to share their expertise and walk you through what they see as uh, that market's uh, direction. What's coming next for the housing market? The pros offer a range of different predictions about where the real estate market could end in 2022. John Hunt, principal and chief analyst for Atlanta-based Market Insight, says, We forecast that housing inventory will remain heavily constrained, especially with rising mortgage rates. If you are a prospective seller, even if you could find a home to purchase, you won't want to swap your current 3% mortgage for a 5% or 6% mortgage right now. Therefore, demand will continue to outpace our ability to supply. Also, because we're still early in the work-from-home movement, you can expect to see more tech workers moving to remote locations, with some even living in their vacation homes. Uh, Dennis Shershikov states that while new inventory will become available, it won't be nearly quick enough. Most developments in good areas are oversold and have even stopped accepting people on their waiting list at this time. Mortgage rates will also rise possibly 2 to 4% higher than today, and banks will likely tighten lending standards further. But he continues, we should see the mortgage rates moderating and the Fed backing off its rate height posture toward the end of the year. Prices could moderate across 2022, going up 10%, 15% before moving to a normal 4 to 6% appreciation rate in 2023. Jason Gelios thinks we'll see housing values continue to stabilize, less competitive offers per home on the market, and sellers realizing they have less negotiating power with buyers. Overall, the second half of 2022 will reflect a lower demand for housing because of the increasing mortgage rates. He says, however, this is when we will see first-time buyers entering the market to have a chance of purchasing a home. Fortunately, we will see an increase in inventory over the rest of the year, but the bad news is that mortgage rates are slated to rise possibly as high as 7% by the end of 2022, he adds. So others anticipate a housing market that will remain strong over the next six months in the foreseeable future. Vincent Chan says that demand will remain robust thanks to millennials, although mortgage rates will continue to creep up and prices will stay bullish because home appreciation is still outpacing the stock market. Remember that spring represents the peak months of the real estate market. That's why Roger Healy says, once fall and winter come around, we might see more of a fluctuation in prices, demand, inventory, and mortgage rates. The number of people moving will slow down and housing supply will remain unstable. Consequently, demand and prices will jump. So what does that mean for us? As an investor or maybe a home buyer, no one can say for sure how the housing market will trend in the second half of 2022. How high will mortgage rates go? How much will buyer demand slow down? How many new units will hit the market? No one can say for sure how the housing market will trend in the second half of 2022. How high mortgage rates will go? How much will buyer demand slow down? How many new units will hit the market? As always, that's why it's tough to time the market as a buyer. Rather than waiting for a housing market peak and hoping prices will fall, focus on your own situation. I know plenty of investors right now that are buying in this market and are still making some good, wise decisions. It all depends on your numbers. You know, find out exactly what 
you know, what your budget is. How much uh, do you have to to spend? Um, can you get the returns that you're hoping to get if it's a rental property? Um, and how much can you afford? You know, that's that's really key here. And if the numbers still work, then go for it. Um, if not, you know, maybe you might want to sit back and wait. If you're ready to move forward, though, you know, connect with a good mortgage broker, somebody who can get you the best rates that they can, um, and also walk you through your options and help, you know, give you an idea of what, what would be the right price for the property you may be interested in. Well, that's it for today. Remember, cash flow is king in real estate investing the means. Until next time, keep moving forward and may God bless. Thank you very much for visiting the Old Dogs REI Network. We would greatly appreciate if you would stop by iTunes and let us know what you think of the show. We would love if you could subscribe to the podcast, give us a five-star rating, and write a review. The more ratings and reviews we receive, the more visible the podcast will be to others. Thank you.